off in the faith. You want to you want to care for them enough to sacrifice that good old dinner. It's just dinner. Yeah. That good old dinner, so he can stay sound in the faith. So you're not creating a stumbling block for him. And read that again, Bible. Sir. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. And there's some men out there that, that just say things according to what they want to believe and what they think, and don't care about the flock that they're leading. Yeah. Like saying you can do the butt. Saying that that's an okay practice of Israel, what is or, that? Or sex on the Sabbath. Or sex on the Sabbath. Yeah. Or just or telling our people to take the their take jab. Take back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most definitely. That's that's a stumbling block, right? Back on your face. You know? Yeah. You know? That's all. Means, hey, the whole jab deal with with Yohanna particularly. Come on, man. It, it, it's just a bad concoction in the first place. But it's unlawful for us to take it anyway. So to, to jab anything into us like that. You know? Yeah. So. Why, why would he say, okay, it's okay to take it, when everything around is saying it's not okay for us to take it? And you can see the end, re the end results of taking it. Yeah. You see people dropping dead 48 hours, yeah. uh, passing out see. 15 minutes uh, after getting it. Yep, two you know? weeks, convulsions and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People bugging out after taking that thing, man. You know? But it's all right to take it. And they ain't even been tested. They ain't even properly tested. You know, it takes years to, to, to approve these to be tested, and they said, if something go wrong, you can't link them to it, you can't sue them for it. Mm -hmm. Come on, man, they're not liable, come on, man. How, how stupid can you possibly be? That's why we believe that dude's a paid agent, man. Yeah. Have to be, have to be. Yeah. And I'm ashamed of the, the, the people in this congregation that won't leave. Yeah. You know, what the hell wrong with y'all, man? Y'all know this dude is off. Y'all don't get no edification from that guy. He sits on a panel, at, when you see him over in a group, he sits on a panel and let the other men spew out their opinions and whatnot and let Zariac teach. That's all I see happening at that school. Every once in a while, another man will step up and teach. But he don't. He don't bring on no scripts. He ain't about them. He don't even take his shades off. Yeah, uh, you have something else? Uh, I was going to uh, say get a Galatians real quick, uh, 5 and 13. Galatians 5 and 13. 5 and 13? Yep. This is Galatians chapter 5 and verse 13. For brethren, yeah, yeah. ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Yeah. Yep. Or use the liberty as an occasion to the flesh. And that's what, you know, dudes started to teach in the church, you know, which is why they were starting to teach, you know, go ahead and, and, and commit fornication and all that. We don't use this liberty to, to abuse ourselves with, 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 you know, the things of the flesh, man. The things of this, yeah, of this world, you know. Because that's, that's how Satan will come to you, through your flesh. You got you to gotta, you gotta be very careful, man. And then you'll start to justify you know, certain uh, uh, lust that you have, yeah. and that becomes a stumbling block to others, including yourself. You know, now, now you, now you causing yourself and others to stumble. Okay. Yeah, we have we have liberty because we're we're under grace, but we don't abuse that, man. Still, you still have to, you know, uh, get yourself uh, right. You know, we still gotta uh, 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 be holy and, and separate. Right. Back in verse 13. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Because you don't get um, executed speedily for breaking it, because the liberty is a time of grace that you have to get right. Don't use that because you're not getting punished immediately to keep doing wrong. Yeah. Use that to practice doing right to clean yourself up. You don't want to be cleaning yourself up, you know, not doing certain things and be like, well, let me go ahead and do something dirty real quick and get it dirty. Then I'll clean it up again later. No, that's not what that's for. Try to clean yourself up more and more. And it says uh, offend less. You know, try to, try to uh, hoard yourself less offenses. You 
No. Huh? No, no I said all. Oh, oh, yeah, you know? You just moved that last line in there? But by love, serve one another. But by love, serve one another. I Meaning you put the love for your brethren in the, in the church above yourself. That's when we tied it back to um, not eating the abominable, uh, the, the lawful meats in an abominable ceremony before a brother that don't understand the separation between the two. You know what I mean? I got another one. Uh, this is 2nd uh, Edges chapter 9, verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For, yeah, for such uh, as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. Okay, so they had that moment to get right, but they didn't. They didn't take heed and they didn't uh, use it wisely. They they dwindled. They they fumbled the moment to get themselves together, and they was looking at it as an occasion for the uh, for the flesh versus an occasion to get right and to edify those up under you. You know, that's why you have to deny. Hey, and you hey, don't get me wrong. You be somewhere and be like, dang, I can eat this, but there'll be a brother that that don't understand. And there's men out there that be pissed about it. Like, man, I ain't bringing that brother next time I go up there because he don't get it. That ain't what that's for. It ain't that the brother can't go. Maybe he can't, though. Maybe he shouldn't be in that circle. But if he is in that circle, you got to take the law on that. You got to take that L. You can't do this today because that man may not understand. You know? Until, until he's able to understand, then, you know, that's when uh, the moment changes, you know, where he can be in there and then y'all can enjoy that if it's lawful, you know. Like, I'm not going to invite some of these brothers here, well, this brother particularly, he'd come to my house and had Thanksgiving dinner with my mom cook, and she didn't cook no abominations with no issues. But around that same time, I think y'all were just young and y'all barely coming in. I didn't invite them over, so they didn't misunderstand the situation. My mom could cook, you know what I mean? So it was cool. Because she didn't cook nothing abominable, but I didn't want to put that stumbling block before another brother by not inviting them over. Right. So they, they weren't ready for that level of understanding yet. You know? But now, everybody's, you know, is on point. And that's where we're getting you on point so you understand that's what we're Because as you grow in the spirit, the things will become way more clear to you as you grow in the spirit. You'll yeah. see that, like your brother said, it's just food. Yep. At the end of the day, you know, shit, you, that may be a meal that, you know, you need. Yep. You know, <laughs> for, yeah. for, for example, you may have um, a brother, you know, that stay at home with his parents. You know, and his parents may not believe, but they'll end up cooking. Yep. You know, so hey, if the Lord grants that brother that understanding of uh, what we're talking about, hey, that brother can understand it. Hey, because if they cooking, they ain't about to cook nothing else. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. so that's that's the food that's in the house. Yeah. yeah. So, you eat tonight. Yeah. Kind. For instance. Yeah. Say you you just got off work or something, you you ain't really got no bread, but yo, your co-worker happened to invite you, hey, come over for Thanksgiving dinner. Like shit. You like, hell yeah, cause what y'all cooking? You know? You know what y'all cooking? Yeah, what y'all cooking? But you know? if they cooking if they cooking that's something that's not a, a vulnerable, you're gonna say, hell yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Okay. Cause you know, that's it's just the meal. It's just the meal. It's just food. You know? Yeah, I got something too. Go ahead. Uh first Peter chapter two, verse two. As newborn babes yep. desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Yeah, before you get deep, have a basic understanding of the simple things. Okay. Like that, like we talk about even abominable meats. Well, if you don't know what's an abominable meat or not, you can easily stumble yeah. at, at the higher levels of when we can and can't. If you don't know how not to worship an idol, then you're not going to understand that you're worshiping an idol by holding hands and then praying unto Jesus or, or, or Easter or whatever, you know, or Santa Claus or something, you know. You know what you, you see? What I'm saying, all right? There was more. If so be ye have tasted the, that the Lord is gracious. Yeah, that's what. Uh, real quick, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 23. It says, all things are lawful for me, yep. but all things are not expedient. It may not be 
it may be lawful that you can do it or or or, or, or um dress them. Okay, for example, uh, having multiple women. That's not right. against the law. Hey, Cause we got multiple women. But is it is it is it expedient. expedient on this side? Is it is it necessary? Is it needful? Will it will it be a stumbling block unto you? Maybe, because now you guys spend more time with your woman. It depends on yeah. that on, on that brother. Certain on brothers that are able to ha handle that kind of thing. Is, isn't that what happened to uh, was it King David? Didn't, didn't Solomon. King I think Solomon. King Solomon. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't, uh, their idols, because he liked uh, what Solomon. the heathen women, and then their yeah. idols threw him off, not yeah. the actual women. But yeah, yeah. Kind. That's exactly. It says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Yeah. It says, let no man seek his own, but every man a another's wealth. Whensoever is sold in the shambles, that eat, asking no question for conscience sake. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and whatsoever, whatsoever is sold in, in, in uh, shambles, it's talking about the meat market. Whatever, whatever they, whatever lawful meat that they're selling you at the meat market, just go on ahead and and, 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 and get it, because you know that you know the Lord created the animals of, of the earth. You know the the name of your your creator, your power that made cows, so we can have beef. You know uh, the Lord who made chicken, so we can have chicken. Who made the lamb, so we can have lamb, so on and so forth. All right, but at that time, you like like in this society. These meats that we buy from the markets today, you don't know uh, what what name of what God yeah. they're actually praying over these uh, we'll be singing uh meats. Onto uh, the Hindu God, I, we don't know. Yeah. As he cutting the meat, and that's damn near putting the spirit of that God into there. But we don't have to be concerned with that. That's what they do with the music. Yeah. So uh, what? That's what they do with the music. They pray. They pray over the music. That they, you know, this demonic music that, that they push out. Yeah. They pray over it. But, you know. To, to put a spell on, on the people. Numbers 23 and 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither hey, is this, this was back in that same story of Blaylock and Balaam. Okay. In that same chapter talking about that. And this was, uh, that was, uh, who was telling who? Uh, Blaylock telling, uh, Balaam telling, Balaam. Balaam telling Blaylock. You got it. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Uh -huh. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, yeah. which has the most high rock. Okay. Yeah, you know. So they be, they be putting spirits on, mm -hmm. you know, this music. They pray over the food in the name of their idols. Like, it was a reason why, uh, what was that? Was that last year or the year before last? When, when Jake started killing each other and, 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 oh, and fighting each other over them bro. damn chicken sandwiches, yeah, yeah, that show was that show was enchanting. Yeah, that was witchcraft. Yeah. You see, they was going crazy for it. Niggas bringing in, <laughs> niggas bringing in raw chickens. Yeah. He's like, y'all had a chicken. Well, I got chicken right here. Just yeah, they was going, it don't work that way. They, we ain't prayed over that. You, could, you know, you understand. You, understand. <laughs> you <could understand. laughs> got the demons on that. Chicken. You know, it was um, enchanted <laughs> because everyone's coming out with a chicken sandwich now, but yep. you don't see the same craze. Yep. Right. Church has got a chicken sandwich. Uh, um, Sonic got a chicken what, sandwich what was, now. Uh, 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 KFC. What's the other place? Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Chick fil A got a chicken sandwich. Yeah. They was going, back they, they was going at it with a, a, yeah. a Popeye. Yeah. 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 They were doing a versus battle. Hey, but, but, <laughs> hey, but think about it. Uh, just, just to say it this way uh, Chick fil A is supposed to be known as the Christian yeah. Christian. How come they didn't have the, the people crazed going to there to buy their chicken sandwiches? When the lines at Popeye was down the block, but nobody's at these other places buying chicken sandwiches. That got them. McDonald's Ben had them. Was that big and tasty or whatever? The spicy chicken or whatever? Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. 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 They Ben had it. 99 cents. Yeah. Ben had it for way cheaper. Yeah. Hey, it was funny. Snoop Jack said. Jack in the box had one. Hey, Snoop yeah. said it. He was like, hey, y'all on that Popeye right now, but y'all going to get back to that hot and spicy after this after this boil over. Yeah. You know? And Jake is back. Okay. But but they was on that craze so much. There's no telling what demon they conjured up to, oh, to, to, to cause that, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, we, if, if, if brothers, even we were saying, man, we gonna stay the fuck away from that yeah, damn God, chicken God. sandwich. God. Some brothers were like, shit, I'm gonna I'm try, try it. Yeah, because of, because, <laughs> of, because, of that because because of what we what we going into. God. 
That don't have power over us, man. Yeah. yeah. I tried one. I had a plan. I tried one too. Hey, we on. It didn't bug yeah. brothers out. No, no, I, I didn't go during the craze. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't like like we had to go get another one. Like, oh, oh man, that shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, it was like, no. Exactly. We gotta get back in line. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let me uh, let me let me finish this real quick, we and then uh, we go back. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 10. Back in 1 Corinthians 10 and uh, 25, it says, "Whatsoever is sold in the shambles, that eat, asking no question, for conscience' sake, for the earth is the Lord's and yeah, the fullness thereof." Let me say, don't you don't want to be like, damn, y'all you, you, prayed over this in the name of such so now. I my conscience is fucked up because I feel like I'm eating in, in, the, in the presence of another deity or, or, or whatever, you know? But just don't ask no questions. Just go ahead and knock that out. But you're not going to eat an abominable meat with no question. Because at the end of the day, we, we still got to eat. Yeah. You know, we know all the shit in the grocery stores is well, jacked up. Fucking, uh, uh, if you eat at a Thai spot or a Chinese spot, oh, yeah, just, all yeah. their food is, is, is sacrificed to, to their uh, yeah. Buddha or whatever. Um, they got the Buddha uh, stat no, statue yeah. coming, yeah. coming up, up in the yeah. soon as you go in there and the get your shit. little takeout or whatever. Uh -huh. Indian spots. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them. Um, be sitting up in there a lot of them. Uh, yeah. They use like uh, duck, uh, duck grease to uh, fry, some, you know, to, to fry some of their meats or their rice, mm -hmm. oyster and, sauce. Yeah, yeah, oyster sauce. That that stuff is a bomb. Duck grease. Duck. Yeah, duck ducks are uh, are bomb. Yeah, really? because they they have uh, their um their feet web. Yep. Yeah. That was, and, 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 and not cloven footed, right? Yeah. yeah. And they're um but in uh where is it, China or India somewhere, that's the um duck is a delicacy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, yeah, rabbit. Like and like the but that's why I was saying that when we brought the um by the sincere milk of the word, you gotta have that foundation of the milk of what you can and can't before you go too deep to to I don't wanna use the word manipulate, but to understand the, the, the subtle nuances that you can deal with certain things and under certain situations. Yeah. Not not because they're abominable, but because even though they may have been offered unto idols, they don't affect you the same way. We're basically, we're breaking that level down right now. We got more, right? Yeah, it says, if any, if any of them that believe not bid you to a feast, you know, come, can you come over to my uh, Thanksgiving uh, dinner or... My, my, my. Can, can you come get some of this? Of, yeah. Come get some of this New Year's gumbo. Yeah, another yeah. I, I made sure I put no shrimp and crab in it. Yep. It's just chicken and, and, and beef sausage. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. you know? birthdays yeah. also is another. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. you can eat the cake. I don't be over there yeah. singing but, with but the you burn out. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't be <laughs> standing over there when they yeah. blowing the candles out. That's that's what. That's the, that's, yeah, that's really the even just a birthday. Yeah. yeah. Happy birthday. I, I wish we had item. that book, uh, Fossilized Customs. I, got, I can look it up. It goes into uh, the breakdown of uh, birthdays, birthday. how pagan it is. Yep. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Per, per, uh, birthday is mentioned in the scriptures. Uh, Joe, I think three, three, three times. Three times. God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All those three times, somebody, somebody died. Put yeah. God. <laughs> God, uh, John the Baptist got beheaded by yeah. uh, Herod, Herodias. Herod, Herod, yeah, God. God. Herod, 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 Fossilized Customs. Israelite servant. Yeah, got put to death. And then um, Job's uh, Job's family, he said they every, eat everyone on their day, yep. and Job sacrificed because um, his, his, his sons and daughters were going off yep. by celebrating their birthdays. And you, next thing you know, they the, the, the daughters, the sons, all of them got killed. Yep. You know, Job lost everything. You know, if you read that whole book of Job, you know he was catching him. Yep. But they were sacrificing. You're not sacrificing. Uh, they were celebrating their birthdays, and birthdays, you really look at it, it goes into um, idolatry. Because, say it's your birthday, everyone comes over, gives you gifts, gives you, you know, uh, 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 exalts you on that day, praises you, happy birthday, you know, and you get, a, you get a cake to, you know, all that goes into self-worship. What if, what if uh, see how people go all out for their birthdays? Kind. Yeah. And We're supposed to be putting all that energy into yeah. praising you how about she never shot. You know? And not kind. not to ourselves. We like I was saying, we ain't shit. Oh wretched We're man that the, I am. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah kind. Kind. A righteous man said that. Yeah, you know, kind. we say here the Wadi how about she never shot for letting me make it another year on this earth, but in the truth. In the truth, yeah. <laughs>
That's it. And Job was like, why died I not from the womb? Kind. Saying that I'm being born into these curses. Yeah, why wasn't I still born? Yeah, why wasn't I still born? It kind. And then when you look at the nigga women of our nation, those hoes, man, they, they say they got a whole birthday month. Yeah, they they, they, they do it the biggest, man. They, yeah. They be trying to do it. Kind. Yeah, man. They walking around with the little crown on their head. Yeah, yeah and the tassel crown. and shit. They got money. They got, they got the little, the little thing, birthday, uh, sash little birthday and thing with the yeah. money tied yeah. to them. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, they got yeah. dollar bills pinned onto them and shit. Short ass dress. Yeah. It's, it's self it's self worship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's what they teach you here in, in, in Babylon. And that's okay. You know? And that actually birthdays go back to um the Babylonians. You know? Yeah, actually, you, I'm, would, uh, you would uh when they would blow a, uh, a candle before they, before you blew the candle out, what are you doing? Making You're a making wish. a wish. Yeah. To who? It's like a prayer, right? <laughs> so if you have birthday, could you pray to y'all by showing out a shot, or is that still? You could give cool? thanks to him. Yeah. yeah. But don't be like, well, it's my birthday. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a a, a, a wish to who? Yeah, yeah. kind. <laughs> you know. That's right. Kind. Yeah. We, we we call them curse days. You know we um. Uh, Cause we know we're born into these curses, and, and when you when, and when you say that curse day, it, it, it reminds you that it, it was there to be happy for even on your birthday. I'm another year in captivity, yeah. you know. But you can thank him for waking you up in the truth and so on and so forth. Hey, and you should chosen yeah. vessel. And you should be doing that every day. Yeah. yeah, but that that's an everyday right. thing. That you should do. Actually, birthdays is mentioned during the, 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 the Christmas part of, of the book. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I mean, Christmas, they that's that's really the celebration of Nimrod's birthday. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yep. That's it's, how you can tie it back into Babylonian customs, man. It says, yeah. uh, birthdays, the popular celebration of one's annual birthday is acknowledged to be by all authorities on an ancient custom, a pagan ritual mm -hmm. from Babylon. Yep. The Babylonians served the sun, moon, planets, and constellations. Yep. A Gentile practice condemned by, it says, Yahweh. Yep. Do not learn the way of the Gentiles and do, do not be alarmed by the signs of, of heaven, sky, outer space. Yep. Although, the Gen Jeremiah Jeremiah. Yeah. Although the Gentiles are alarmed by them, or dismayed, kind. dismayed, dismayed, yeah, so yeah. Kind of like what what a lot of uh, women of our nation do, you know, when they they get super into astrology, you know, and get bugged out by it, and they say, oh, I'm a so and so moon, so and so yeah. sun, yeah. all of yeah. this, you know, all that yeah. bullshit, right. man. You know, be deep. kind <laughs> zodiacs and shit. Yeah. What's your sign? Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, the celebration of one. Oh, like yeah. Birthdays are mentioned in the Tanakh a total of three times. When Joseph was in prison in Egypt, yep. and Herod's birthday, yep. and um, it says, well, it says Yakanan, uh, John the uh, John the Baptist was beheaded. Kind of. um, in the situation described in it says, like Ab. Yeah, you, you can tell that those men who who who's, uh, throwing these uh, birthday celebrations, they had demons over. Them. Yeah. You know. That was all demonic energy on it. Oh, they're just going into uh, uh, the book of Job. But we, you know, we went into it. Let me go. I'm gonna go down. The birthday ritual, the ritual of cakes, candles, wish, and presents served to give thanks to the sky, to sky luminaries, for a, not for allowing the birthday celebrant to reach the annual cycle of their birth. The cake was baked. For the Queen of Heaven. Almost like the yeah, Queen of Heaven. Queen of Heaven. That's uh, Jeremiah. That's Jeremiah. I have it. I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yep. Bring it out real quick. Kind. This is a book of Jeremiah, chapter 7 and verse 18. The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the woman net their dough to make cakes to the Queen of Heaven. Mm -hmm. Jake was going off, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jake was idol worship. So cakes to the queen of heaven, them candles signify the, uh, the queen of heaven to worship. Semiramis. Yeah, yeah, Semiramis, which was supposed to be uh, also changed up in, in, in modern doctrine as the uh, Mary, the, the mother of Yahushua. Yeah. 
But in ancient times, it's actually uh, Semiramis and Tammuz being the baby and Nimrod. She had many different forms, just yep. like Nimrod had different forms, yeah. depending on that culture and nation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. hey, it's a lot. Because you don't under, not say you, but because someone doesn't understand that that's what they're doing, don't mean they're not doing it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Because yeah. they're in that spirit. Yep. Yeah. It's the same. A lot of yeah. our people do it in ignorance. Yep. That's yep. why it says in uh, Acts, was that Acts 17? You know, the Lord have uh, winked at your ignorance, yeah. but now is the time for you to, to repent. Yeah, man. So now you can we repent. Used to, we celebrated birthday. birthdays in, in our ignorance. Yep. We, we, didn't, we didn't know any better but once we came into the knowledge of the truth. We put that away, man. We, we don't celebrate our, our birthday. If I, hey, but if I, if I decide to, uh, if I want a cake on that day, yeah. I'm not going off. Yeah. We're not going off. It's just a cake. How many times have my mom been like, hey, what you want me to cook for your birthday? Um, I wasn't really with that shit. I don't get meals all the time anymore for my mom. So, yeah. all right, mom, cook up my favorite meal, you know, and then. I don't think about the celebratory, the, the, the gift giving and wrapping, so like gift giving and wrapping and all. I don't, yeah, just, just let's just see. You know, just another day to me. I'm just another year older. It was decorated in mama, mammogram with the celebrant's name. The candle symbolized the sacred fire carefully numbered for each annual cycle completed. Uh -huh. The prayer chant and all the ritual proceed procedures are carefully preserved and it is a religious occasion which is regard the day of one's birth the most significant event in a person's life as astrologers base everything on on it if the celebrant can blow out all the candles then a secret wish made to a genie or Juno if the person is female will be granted the birthday itself was you remember this, you remember this right your birthday, you make the birthday wish. Don't tell nobody, or it won't come true. You hear all that shit, right? <laughs> it was shit, all bro. superstitious yeah. bullshit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the birthday itself was a time of great superstition to a pagan, so they were surround so they were surrounded by their friends and relatives for protection. Yeah. In the great in the Greek culture, it was believed the personal abilities and talents were bestowed on an individual by being inhabited, possessed by one or more demons called muses. <laughs> you possessed? <laughs> what kind of demon is that? <laughs> you know? A you person, see these people on, on their birthdays, man, yeah. they, they, oh, yeah. they, especially when they drink. Now, what's the time we gonna turn up on my birthday? Bro, we gonna turn man, up. They get stupid with they get, you. They, they get retarded, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can tell they got uh, demonic energy. They get super Imagine selfish on them. Get hella, hella selfish and shit, only worried about they self. It's my day. It's my, it's my <laughs> day. <laughs> you try to embarrass your ass and shit. You know? They got demons on yeah. them. It, go, it, it goes in, bro. Wow. I, I forgot all about yeah, this book, book, man. We ain't brought it up in a while. It's called Fossilized Customs. Like, oh, we might need to order that. Uh, a person's genius was the gift of the genie thought of as the overseer of the muses. The muses were nine female deities believed to endow skills and speech. Look how deep this shit they got. Yeah. There was a muse and a genie and a Lortino, nine females. Because that, that whole Damn. birthday spirit, that, that self idolatry, that's a, that's, a, that's a female spirit. Yeah. You know? Comes to the queen of heaven. Yeah. Well, the queen of heaven is basically woman worship. Yeah. That, that wasn't given for that. Yeah. Valentine's is on that, Easter's on that. Um, Birthdays, Mother's Day. Yep. Okay. The Muses were nine female deities believed to endow skills in speech, art, science, memory, scholastics, agility, and music. A word, a word derived from Muses. You get music. Kind. Um, go ahead. That's the shit uh, Kobe Bryant believed in. Yep. Yeah. Um, that yeah, music. Yeah, Kobe Bryant Muse. Yep. Yep. Muse, yep. yep. Nine daughters. Nine muses. Something that gave you inspiration, but it wasn't oh, of the most high. Yeah, they yeah. talk about Light that. Girl, like there was a movie called The Muse, yeah, if I remember. It's, it's okay. Money. It basically, they, you, it's basically you you getting the spirit of something yeah, yeah, yeah. from something else, and it's not the it's not the inspiration of the most high, yeah. which is idol right? worship. Yeah. Okay. Kobe Bryant surrounded himself in the spirit of basketball, so he could be the best basketball player. 
that ain't of the most high you how. You know, and other people, movies, they, they surround themselves with great writers to write a great movie script or be a great actor. They'll, they'll submerge themselves in uh, the acting muse of, of, of the actual character that they'll, kind of. you know, like, like they say, in, uh, Denzel played uh, Malcolm X. He was so into the speeches and so into that character, he started reciting speeches that he didn't rehearse. So what happened to the Joker? He died. They say they say he Heath went into Ledger. that type of Heath yeah. Ledger went into that type of uh, trance yeah. with it. You got more? It says hey, uh, hey uh, in the in the music industry, some of these producers and rappers they channel a demon uh, they call Rain Man. Yeah. Rain Man. That demon gets on them. It, it, it inspires them to spaz out lyrically. It brings all their talents out. Yeah, they get super uh, talented. They get real witty with you know like Jay Z. He gets so clever with his bars yeah. and stuff. Well, that's because, you know, they, they have a demon, a left-hand demon that be working with them. You know? That's that's a, that's another muse uh, uh, spirit. Right. And, and if you look at what it said... <coughs> well, uh, Eminem made a song called Rain Man. L listen to that. Really? Mm -hmm. But what he was saying, go back to that part where it said with, with those nine women or whatever it is. It says... Um, the muses were nine female deities believed to endow skills the and speech. Certain skills in speech, art, eloquence with word, art, speak, uh, science, yep. uh, memory, scholastics, agility, uh, and music. And Kobe with his agility, doing windmills and shit, and, you know, fadeaways and footwork is amazing, all of this shit. Because he immersed himself in the spirit of the thing. It said all the muses' names were uh, Silo, U Uterpe, Dahlia, <laughs> Mel Papani. Uh, Kali Kalalope, Urania. He says, you may recognize some of their names having become part of our language, like Uranus. They are the Greek deities of the arts and sciences, giving us the Word Museum, a showplace of art and science. Um, Let me get a quick uh, script. This is uh, still in 1 Corinthians 10, at verse 20. It says, I'll start at 19, it says, uh, 18 it says behold Israel after the flesh are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar what say I then that the idol is anything or that which is offered and sacrificed to idols idols is anything but I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to devils yep. and not to the most high yes. and I would not that you should have fellowship with devils yeah, we don't want you connected through these rituals, these pagan rituals that are connected to devil deities. You know? You got something? Yeah. Uh, Second Maccabees chapter 6, I'm going to start at 1. The point is in like 7. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of Yahweh and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympus and that in the Gerizim, uh, Gerizim of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwelt in the place, the coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people. For the temple was filled with riot and with reviling by the Gentiles who dallied with harlots and had to go with women within the circuit of holy places, and besides this brought in things that were not lawful. The altar also was filled with profane things, which the law- Profane means uh, outside, outside the temple. Yep, bringing uh, uh, um, statues of the different gods and, and different incense unto those gods and so on and so forth, things that should not be in the temple. But they didn't have no respect to the temple, so they were just, Doing whatever the hell they wanted orgies. to do. They was making them yeah. have orgies in the temple Acting to like commemorate those uh, those those uh, deities that they were uh, worshiping. And, and a lot of them believe that that power was stronger when they were perverting it in our temples. It's fucked up, yeah. you know. That's why even in music, when you can get a Jake to push out that 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 wicked vibration, it mm -hmm. hits the people harder. It connects more to them, you know, because we know the temples now within our people. You know, mm -hmm. it's in the people, not in the place. So they, they always want to push that type of energy through our people. That's why our people are, are such great influencers. You got it, bro. Verse 5, the altar was also, was filled with profane things which the law forbidden, 
neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. See, it's talking about when they took away the customs back in the time of the Maccabees also, that you couldn't even let it be known. Really? That you was right. an Israelite. That you was an Israelite. You, you was an Israelite. You become a full-fledged Greek and do what the Greeks did. Or well, what? To the first Maccabees, yeah. the first yeah. 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 the devil. Going in those days, pretty yeah. 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 And that's how our people, like, that's why when you read in the New Testament, they had to address yeah. meat offered unto idols. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, they were calling Jake the Greeks. that lived in uh, these Greek provinces. They were calling them Greeks yeah. because of this, this is what happened. They had to address a lot of stuff because our people began to fall away from our, our the customs. There were hundreds of years yeah. into that yeah. Yeah. Greek culture. Yeah. So two, like, three uh, generations, a brand new, it's a brand new generation that they don't, like even now, this generation, they don't know about what men in the 60s and 50s was doing. They don't think of, hey, divorce, hey, divorce is commonplace. Well, it wasn't back then. Back then. Yeah. You better not get divorced. Like, the, the, the community will shame you. Like that movie Fences. Yeah, the movie Fences. No matter how bad yeah. it was, you better not leave your husband. You know, it was different then. Yeah, you can now. see back. See, see now with the, they got to give all these women this liberty. Back then, if she left her husband, she was like, she was just through. Uh, back, you know, back in the day, she was like, damn, she left so and so. You know, and she's just out there. She got to work. She got to, you know. Yep. It's harder, for, but now it's not as hard for women because they got all these liberties. They it's could get. It's now it's forwarded. Yeah. So when you forward from the time of the Greeks when this was happening, all the way to hundreds of years later when they're practicing the same customs because the laws were taken out of us, they don't even know. Like we, like the telephone. You say, uh, do somebody older do a sign of telephone? An older man would be like, or you know, somebody would be like this. You tell these kids they do this because they only know smartphones. It's a different uh, hand gesture. Mm -hmm. So when you fast forward taking the laws away from our people, because th these generations never dealt with a phone like this. So they don't know. If, so if you're dealing with the law, they don't know hundreds of years later if they've been if the law has been taken away from them. You know what I'm saying? So they're living the customs of, of the laws of the land, of the customs of where they grew up at. So they don't know that you're not supposed to eat certain abominable meats, not supposed to celebrate certain pagan traditions and so on and so forth. You got it, bro. Verse 7. In, and in the day of the king's birth, uh -huh. every month they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. Mm. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, <laughs> the Jews were compared to compelled to go yep. in procession to Bacchus, carrying ivy. Moreover, and they and he implemented a system where you had to uh, register yourself yep. to, uh, 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 to, to 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 worship that deity. And how they would register you, he would um, he would mark you with a uh, with a with an ivy uh, with ivy ink. Yeah, that's, that's spiritual. That's like the it's like the, the no, modern the mark no, of the beast, no, but going no, back to their time. Was it uh, Dionysus? Dionysus. Dionysus. Yeah. Yeah, right. Which that's back. It's the same yeah. deity. Yeah. You know? He wants you to be commemorate. That's the same. It ties into the uh, the same idea as like brother said, going to the new world order with the mark of the beast. They want you to conform unto the beast. And they're going to mark him with his, his mark, with his image. There you go. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighboring cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews that they should not, uh, that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles should be put to death. Yeah, then might a man have seen the present misery. Who are the Gentiles? Huh? Who are the Gentiles? Uh, and that that he just read? No, just what does that mean, Gentile? Well, uh, it's two, there's yeah. more than one form of the word Gentile. Really? Yeah. 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 It's basically, I'm, I'm going to say it generally, then I'm going to clarify it, okay? Generally, it's somebody that doesn't keep the customs of the Israelites. Mm. But there are Israelites that have been into a Gentile state of mind. So yeah. it's the heathen who are not Israelites by their father line and birth line. But then the, the Israelites, who are Israelites by their birthline, that kept the same customs okay. uh, of those heathens. So they became Gentiles, Got but it. they're still Israelites. Got it. You okay. know, so that's where that, the Gentile in the New Testament really comes in about waking up. There's no difference between Jew nor Greek. I mean, uh, Gentile. Uh, same thing. Greek yeah, nor Jew. Yeah. Greek nor Jew, Gentile. and Because uh, okay. those were still Israelites according to the flesh, but they were practicing customs Spirit. of the other nations. But, but as we read in Maccabees, that's why. Because the, the Israelite customs were taken away. And so they had to keep 
the um, First Corinthians 12. They had to keep the right, right, right. They had to keep the customs of the, of the lands that they lived in. So basically, every land the Jews have been in, they took away our customs. We started pretty going much, on. pretty much, and it really kicked off around the time because Greece was ruling, and they were mighty at, mm -hmm. in their time. We watched the movie 300, talks about that time period, and then they were taken down by the Romans, and we know the Romans. There's plenty of movies about the Romans, and they uh, pretty much conquered the known world. You know, so where could we go? We were scattered everywhere. Where could we go to keep our customs? Hey, the Northern Kingdom came over here. You know what I'm saying? Northern Kingdom came over here to try to keep the customs, and they couldn't keep it perfectly. You know, because they were so influenced by the other nations. You know, so so how much more now? When when it was after it was taken away? I had some old Corinthians or twelve. Yeah. yeah. This First Corinthians chapter twelve and verse one. Yep. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Yep. We, we worship birthdays, Christmas. We were down there wrapping presents and bowing down to the tree. And we did all that bullshit, you know? Yeah. We were worshiping the, the creature more than the creator. Yep. Right. Turn the truth of the most high into a lie. And that's when we were, um, he was winking at our ignorance because we didn't know that. You know? But somebody like a Yohanna, he knows, man. He should know. He's in a position to know. Hmm. And I'm just, not, not that I'm picking on him, but the dude keeps bringing himself into that, that, that form to be, uh, to be scrutinized. You gotta go. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Yeah, we're Israelites. The book is for the Israelites. The Israelites are reading this book that you were Gentiles, past tense, carried away unto these dumb idols. So we had all been Gentiles before we came into the truth, yeah. doing the things that. That's why it tied in beautifully, tied into um, we're saying if you're a, a Israelite or a heathen, keeping other customs outside of Israel. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So and then you come back to the statute laws and commandments. So. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? The old statute laws and commandments of the Israelites. Don't continue doing the new ways. New ways in that time were the, ba uh, right. the Babylonians. Right. Our people, you know, we were in a ca captivity and yeah. they started to uh, adhere and, you know, follow their customs. Yep. You know? But it said go back to the old paths where it was the good way, when we wasn't in captivity, when we when we can follow our, our, our father and our maker, you know, when we can uh, when we live better and more righteously upon earth. Captivity a long time. Yeah. A real long time. Hey, hey, I thought about that in the live show last night about that image in Daniel, the, the dream uh, that was broken down about the, the um, Daniel 2 and Daniel 7, the two images. Basically, when well, we, well, we were talking about it last yeah, night. Yeah, I saw the video, I don't remember. But it, it came into um, that, uh, yeah, how I was talking about the um, breaking down, we was in the fourth beast yeah, at yeah. the time. The Roman Empire. The Roman Empire, okay. when he was on the scene. But we, had, we went through Egypt, then we got out of Egypt, we did little captivities with other nations, yeah, yeah. then we came in the time of King David and King Solomon, right? Once we got into that time period, we was, we was good for the most part, like you know? Like the mini kingdom. The mini kingdom, Nine, you know, 70 we were pretty years. righteous generally, you know, but when we went off and we fell, the prophecy when we went to Babylon was that we were going to uh, four uh, uh, different uh, kingdoms, the Babylonians, then the Persians and the Medes, then the Greeks, and then the Romans. And then in the Daniel 7 chapter, we would come out of that and then go back into it. After a little season, he would come back into the, in the power, oh. which is this kingdom now, which is still modeled after the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. In Revelation, doesn't it say there's a, 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 a part of the beast that was uh, severely injured? Yeah, they doesn't did. that represent the, the old Roman Empire? Yeah, it was a fatal wound. Mm -hmm. So that's the mm -hmm. old Rome, and they got healed, which is right. America, America, right? America coming back. Okay. The Renaissance. Which was really, it's, 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 it's the whole uh, system. system. Right. Uh, you know, the EU is a part of it, which which they yep. formed NATO, and America is a part of it. Yep. Yep. The uh, North American Treaty Organization. Yep. 
Yep. North Rome Atlantic. North, North Atlantic. Atlantic. The, Atlantic. North Atlantic. the Atlantic. eagle, right? Huh? This, this in Rome was the eagle? Yeah, just like the old one was the okay. eagle, too. But when the Greeks, didn't they have uh, the eagle as a, um, yeah. as, as, uh, as, a, as a symbol as well? I thought they were the leopard. Yeah, 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 but yeah, that's the That's representing uh, Alexander. Right. He was a leopard. Mm, right. You know? That was like his symbol, but... Because he's they, who brought him out of... Out of uh, his father was um, Philip. Philip Macedonia. Right. He he um, he came out of him, and he was the, they were the ones that really put the Greeks at the top of the uh, food chain, so to speak, of rulership. And then through then, it became the Greek Empire, which was the, the, the time of the... the, the um, the third body part was it the thighs? Yeah, yeah. the thigh as well Bronze. as the, um, what was the um, the, the, the body the, uh, the animal? Uh, was it the leopard? It was the leopard. leopard yeah. yeah, yeah. It was also the leopard at the time of the Greeks as well. And was it bronze? Kind of bronze. It was bronze. And then it was a clay um, and the iron. Yeah, you, just really, go back to it. Yes, I'll read a little bit more. And then we'll go back. Yeah. Because um, it said a part about it, 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 it said a part back. about it pertains to the scriptures also. It says, um, okay, the fairy tale Sleeping Beauty directly refers to <laughs> the gifts and benefits bestowed by the muses, since muses were known as fairies in the Germanic and Galactic cultures. The three fates were a tirade of female deities, also known as the three graces or three charities in the greek and roman mythologies they ruled the lives of men and determined the length of a person's life clotho spun the thread of life lashes determined its length in atro atropos cut it um clotho uh, lashes la lashes how do you spell that l-a-c-h-e-e-s-i-s -E -E lashes yeah. determined the length and atropos cut it this is the type of idolatry that Paul was correcting the Galatians and Ephesians for observing since they were falling back into these patterns instead of... Falling back. They they woken up when, when, he, when he made all those journeys into those lands to edify them. But as time went on, he wrote a letter back to them to clean them up again. But then as time went on, when he was dead, hey, that's when they start going back. The, 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 the doctors start creeping back into the, uh, into the church. And then you go all the way up into the time of uh, John the Revelator, and now it's all the way back in the church, and you have to clean it up again. That's John the Revelator and John the Baptist are two different people. No, yeah. Yeah. John was a, was a name. It wasn't only one John. There was a few different yeah. Johns. Mark like John. names were the same. Yeah, there yeah. was there was different names. People had names. Like like, Day King David wasn't the only David. Um, John wasn't the only John, yeah, you know. Yeah, I was shy. Yeah, or, or, yeah, yeah, you go deep. yeah, you go deep. Yeah, but yeah, but, but yeah, I was shy. There were other Yahweh shy, but there was only one Yahweh shy, the anointed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go too far to you know to create a stumbling block, but just to tell you that names are just like now. You know, there's, there's multiple people yeah. with the same name, but they're not of that last name. You know, they're like not this, that. Like this new brother, new this brother in his in his, his pop. Or him and John Wall. Yeah. Come. They're both named John. Okay. You yeah. know? But that's not to make yeah, them the same man. I'm sure you I'm sure yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can. We went a good example. Yeah. It was just yeah, how I was shy that I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's a good it's example. Right says, since since they were falling back into these patterns instead of exposing oh. them and excluding yep. them from their lives, yep. he told them that they have lived as pagans and had been in darkness, but now were called out that yep. such of from such ignorance. Yep. Hey, and he even said, you know, to the church, uh, I think he told uh, Timothy that, you know, the days will come where they will not endorse sound doctrine. Yep. They're gonna start uh, giving heed to seducing spirits and, yep. and doctrine of the devils. devils. Yep. Okay. You know, so you gotta be aware, you know? Because yep. there's a lot of the seducing spirits out there right now. Start falling back yeah. into the into that, that, that worldly element, and that, and that can happen because the closer we get to the end, and they see how this truth is coming out, everyone's going to try to hop on this wave of the truth. So they, well, I, I got the truth. Well, I got the truth. Everybody don't got the truth. Those are those seducing spirits. Well, they may know a little bit, but they ain't going to they gonna try to mix it in with the world. You know, we're gonna see, you may see cameras popping up here and there, but everybody ain't got the truth. Right. You're gonna, and you're going to see that in these last days because everyone wants to be the one that say, "Oh, I told you."